This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. The U.S. Attorney's Office is asking a federal judge to hold a longtime Cincinnati landlord in contempt for violating a consent decree with the Department of Justice. Federal prosecutors say John Klosterman sexually harassed women tenants for years, including evicting or threatening to evict them if they objected to his sexual advances. The 2020 consent decree prohibited Klosterman from interacting with tenants and owning and managing rental housing unless those prosecutors approve his property manager, but they say Klosterman has continued to manage property and allegedly stalked a tenant who eventually moved out of his building. The man who admitted to killing a Fairfield woman in 2019 has been sentenced to prison. Kirby Chong's trial was supposed to start this month before he pleaded guilty to shooting and killing 23 year old Catherine Lobano at the villages of Wildwood on Ross Road. Our partners at the Journal News report Chong must pay Lobano's family 20 grand in restitution and he'll be eligible for parole after 17 years. Northwest Local Schools has a new superintendent. Daryl Gator will start in that role on August 1st. The school board voted unanimously to hire him last night. Yaders worked in the district for more than 20 years, starting as a language arts teacher. He's been an assistant superintendent since 2018. Yader replaces Todd Bowling, who retired last month. Sherry, another hot day out there. We need to give Mother Earth some assistance. We have some air pollution over the greater Cincy area, so do what you can to limit air pollu pollution. If you're sensitive to it, you want to limit your time spent outdoor. Those numbers are getting back temperature wise in the lower 90s today. We slide overnight into the upper 60s by daybreak. We'll have a clear sky and then tomorrow we're going to do it all over again. However, at 91 degrees, it's likely going to be feeling 93 ish or so because there will be a brief uptick in humidity before rain comes Thursday night.